business, you can't run your business without a loan. Some people say that is necessary. But what, before you take a loan, plan how to pay back. First of all, that's your business. How much does it generate a month? It generates in a month one million. And you went and collected a loan that they say you should be paying back five, five million. I joke and say, God is in charge. God will work it. I'm in charge. Then you now come and bring your business and say, Daddy, meto anointing neighbor. And it may not work. Five, five million every month. Now, if you want to start a new business and there's no business backup to help you pay in, in case you borrow money, it's a new business. You have not even tried it to know the income that you borrow money to start. You see, it will make prayer look like prayer is not working. Because even God knows you have rejected knowledge. My people perish. Think well. Now, anybody that sells, a goosey people are making it. A goosey people are making it. You don't even know how they make it. Get by the goosey. get the liquid. As an email storage, yako. He gave the call. Call your brother. No, be a call. I be not a dozy guy. My name is Nabal. Something I know. Don't get the shit. But those of you who do business, who can take loan, that's okay. That's okay if you can. But don't take the one that you have no plan on how to pay back. Don't borrow money from your friend when there's no plan on ground to pay back. That's on grand plan to pay back. When you go and borrow, there's no plan to pay. By the time they are calling you, you start quarreling. I start telling them your bank is no your ba- your account was oh, when they were come, so they have to suspend my account. I ask them to block it. I don't know what has, what is happening. My transfer is not going. <laughs> Six months your transfer is not going. So there should be plans on ground. Is a problem. I beg you. To borrow is not sin. But remember, there must be enough plans to pay. And don't borrow more than the plans. You will not borrow. You will lend to nations. It's not everybody that that scripture applies to. Even big companies must borrow. The preacher that will tell you to borrow is sin. He's not sin. Even in the Bible, they borrowed. The Bible said they were building church. Okay? And as they wanted to cut wood to build, the ass head fell inside water. The person who was holding the ass head shouted, Alas, my master! It was borrowed. <laughs> It was church they were building. They were trying to cut bamboo. I got hired an ass. I got bought some bamboo on ass. Go tear like this. The church they come and I come. The head of the ass fell. The man is shouting, "Oh, alas, my master! It was burned." And God came through for them. Elisha brought a dry wood, dry stick and cast it inside the water. You know dry stick is supposed to float. Acid is supposed to sink. And acid really sank. But the heaviness of that acid by the anointing was transferred to the dry stick. The dry stick sank. Then the lightness of the dry stick was transferred by the anointing to the ass head. The ass head started floating. They carried it. That's a miracle. Even the wife of the prophet that they came to, the creditors came to carry her children. Even when the prophetic word came for that cruise of oil, the prophet told her, go and borrow vessels. He said, don't borrow small. And if you read King James, King James, I think, put it, he said, borrow abroad. You know why I say borrow abroad? Because the woman, 
nobody, nobody can borrow something because here they know us here for borrowing. The man said, go and borrow abroad. If they know you in your streets, go to the next street and borrow. Then he said, borrow the vessels abroad of all thy neighbors, even empty vessels. Borrow not a few. Borrowing is not bad. But there should be plans. Don't borrow more than your capacity. 